Which, uh... Wow, they gave me that checkpoint. What's going on, guys? We're back in Test Drive Unlimited 2. This is part 13 of our Let's Play. If you missed the past couple episodes, I just want to get it out of the way right at the start. Over the past three episodes, there have been so many changes with this series. I recommend you go back and you watch those three episodes. Oh, whoops. Uh, what we're doing today, though, is we are continuing where we left off. We have our ML, and we basically have to choose what we're going to do. I mean, we have so many different things on our map available for us. It's crazy. So we've got all the way up here. We've already got our B4 license, which is awesome. We can go over here, do the B3 thing in our ML, which could be awesome. I mean, we don't really get the biggest payout for it, but it's only six challenges, so we might have some time to mess around with some other stuff as well, so that could be fun. We have the A5 stuff, which would we, we would use our Mercedes. That could be cool as well. Again, six events, we can maybe start that. Or we have the A4 with a huge bonus but we have eight events or we can always do another license thing you know what let's go do the b3 stuff i i i, I was saying last episode i'm pretty good at the off-roading stuff do i really need to off-road all the way up there okay i'm gonna fast travel to here and then we'll just drive up the mountain like this is what i love about this game it's like this is this is proper off-roading we're about to go climb a mountain to go get to this thing i'm actually just gonna sort of beeline it because the mercedes ml is like the best off-road car in this game. I'm just gonna cut corner. Oh, okay. I don't know if we can make it up that. I'll try. Oh shit, it's actually working though. What I really hope is that there won't be a massive, massive cliff in front of me. Oh, oh, it's just a little mountain. Okay, we can do it. We're getting up. This is actually really fun. I forgot how fun test drive off-roading was. So yeah, the past couple episodes have been seriously awesome for all of the, like, changes we've made. All of the, like, upgrades and stuff like that. It's been seriously so, so much fun. We went in and we did a full-on, like, spending spree where we went in and we spent, like, nearly $700,000. It was really, really crazy, something I wasn't expecting to do in the series, if I'm honest. But it just sort of worked out. And then we went and bought this ML last part. Ugh! We are, like, set. We don't need to buy anything for a really long not really long time now if we don't want to. But yeah, this ML is just a monster. Look at that! Look where we've got Is that an AI? That is an AI. Just What are you doing up here, dude? He's just at the top of this huge mountain. No! Another one up here. Oh, sorry, dude. Alright, so the B3. We're legit starting from the mountain's top. Yo, that just looks so good. Oh, man. All right, let's start this up. B3 Championship. I'm very excited for this. I'm usually pretty good at the off-roading stuff, like I was saying last episode. Oh, God. Are you in the used car dealer? Sandwin is my group. And if we're at the top of the charts, it's because I'm as hardcore on the stage as on the road. To all the clowns, you think you can beat me? Yeah, here's what's waiting for you. Yeah! Bruh. Do I look like I'm gonna give you an advantage? You you look like someone who's about to crash the shit out of his car. All right, so we got uh, six events here. So as per usual, starting up with the time trial, so we can get a good, good, good pole position, sort of kind. Hopefully, I mean the game's getting a little bit harder for sure. So I am getting a little nervous, I'll say for sure. Anyways, I wanted to let you guys know about something. I know I haven't spoken about them for a pretty long time, but uh, you may remember the AR12 Galaxy stickers. There's like a hundred of them left, and I made them 25% off in the store. They were all numbered, like numbers 1 through 500. There were only 500 of them um, available, and every single one's numbered, and I put a whole database together, so anyone who got them could like enter enter their name and stuff and see everyone else who got them. It was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I wanted to let you guys know they're 25% off now for all of the packs, so uh, you should check them out. I'll include a link in the description down below. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool, and it, they when they're gone, they are gone. They are never, ever, ever going to come back again. Actually, speaking of stuff like that... Oh, I didn't see that fence. Speaking of stuff like that, currently on the AR-12 forums, we're running a couple of contests at the time of recording this video. Uh, the Fast and Furious one might be done right now. It's basically take a picture in Fast and Furious. Or take a picture in Forza and make it look like Fast and Furious. That one might be done by the time this video goes up. I don't know exactly when this video is going to be going up. So I say, eh. But then the other contest that's going on right now is to make basically like a shirt design. And basically, if you make a really cool shirt design and we actually use it, you, like, 
you'll get a free one of them, which is pretty cool. So yeah, anyways, that stuff's in the, uh, in the description down below. Ooh, going in here fast. All right, ML, I should really probably focus on this race because it is on the side of basically a cliff, and if I were to fall down there, I think that would be race over. I think that was race win, though. Yes, it was. Awesome. We're getting 4,000 a race, too. That's not bad. So Chris Wilder is going to be our main dude we're going up against. He's in an Audi Q7. I still don't know what's happening with the with all the, like, what, what is it called? Pink slip stuff? But we'll have to see. I'll, I'll eventually, at some point, have to do a high championship and see how it goes. A 1.75 or 1.7 mile race? It's going to be super short. I totally forgot to look when we were seeing the leaderboard what cars everyone's in. I noticed my car in the Audi Q7. Is there anything else that people could have like just physically taken or are, are those the only two cars? <gasps> yes. So okay, Chris Wilder has like Is that a What is that all the way in the back? What's in like last place? Balls. I was getting so good at- is that a Spiker SUV? Oh my god, I think it actually is. I think I remember that. Oh man. But yeah, look at Chris Wilder's car. His car is all custom and stuff, so that means that should be a pink slip thing. Oh man, that's so awesome! Oh, that is so good. So okay, if Chris Wilder's got a custom car, I assume there's pink slip stuff then. Then I assume- oh man. Everything makes sense now. All right, we're in for some good stuff. I'm very excited for this. We're gonna be we're gonna get so much money, too Like it's pretty insane like now I don't even know if it's worth it to sell all like the the pink slip cars just because I have so much money now I've, I've got like 1.2 or 1.3 million like and I don't even need money We've gone in and we've bought everything we need right now for quite a while We've got a massive house with like six garage spots in it. That's nowhere near full then. We've also got oh then we've also got all the cars we're gonna need for quite a while. The only thing I could see me actually spending money on is one, fixing up my dude's face so he doesn't look like every other character in this game. Uh, maybe some clothes. And I really want to try car upgrading. I know it's based on like your discovery and stuff, which is kind of annoying, but I, I do want to try that. All right, so we won that. Is Stuart actually gonna come second? I think everyone like died in that race. Chris Wilder, okay, Chris Wilder came second there. But yeah, look, there's two of those spikers, Spiker D8. Peking to Paris. I totally forgot about that car. I remember it now being in the game, and it was like, why is that like an off-road car? I didn't know Spiker made, like, off-road cars. Yep, that's a thing. All right, let's keep going. Time trial event. Oh! At least she says different stuff now, I'll say. At least at least now that we're in Hawaii, she's... Her, her vocabulary of starting races has improved a bit, so I'm okay with that. All right, for 14 checkpoints. I think it was 2.8 miles. Let's try to do as well as we can. The thing that's kind of scary about all of these races, though, is they are legit on the side of a cliff. And if there's no wall in the way, it's just like, adios, buddy, if you take the corner too quick. Like, goodbye, race over, or restart. We're doing okay, though. I was I was really worried about the difficulty being a lot harder, but, I mean, we're holding, a, like, a little comfortable two-second gap. Okay, maybe not anymore after... That sick wall ride. But yeah, it's 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 not too hard just yet. Probably for the B4 or B3 high championship, we might have some more trouble. But I mean, two seconds green is all we need. That's fine. And it's like, if I really needed to, I could, I could turn it up a little bit and push a little bit harder. But I mean, that would obviously take some risks too. Like, I'm holding back a lot here because I really don't want to go off this edge. But I could push a little bit more if I knew the track or something, for sure. Yo, you know what I really want to go in and, like, investigate in the- in this game? Oh god! Remember what I was talking about? Risks? Yeah, that's one of them. Where you cut corners. I'm five seconds green now, too. That's awesome. But yeah, one of the things I do want to go investigate in this game that I'm surprised we haven't done yet, actually, is go check out some of the race courses, because there are some race courses in this game that are just built into the map. It's something that people have been asking for in Forza for a very long time. Actually, basically any open world game. People want racetracks inside the open world. And Test Drive is actually one of the games that actually did it. You can actually go in this game and <coughs> when you're just driving around, you can find like places on the map that are real race courses. You'll see they have like apexes and stuff like that. It's very cool. Anyways, we've nailed that. Chris Wilder 
is now six points behind. That's not too bad. It gives me some wiggle room just in case I do end up falling off a cliff eventually. But I think we're good. Let's go do this long race right now as I'm usually kind of scared of them. 12.4 miles. Uh, eliminator race. Let's do it. Try not to fall off the cliff. All right. I freaking love this ML. I mean, that spiker is so awesome. I really wanted to go faster so I can... Did I just, like, shift up a thousand gears? Whoops. But, um, I really want to see that spiker. It's so cool. Like, when was the last time anyone drove a spiker in a video game? Someone was actually telling me because I referenced it before. Or I called spiker out. I'm like, when was... Like, what do they do now? And apparently, they, they went bust, but I think someone ended up actually buying them. I don't think they make cars right now, but I think someone owns them. So, I mean, that's cool and all. I would, I would love to see some more spiker cars because they were, they were so unique, so different. I think they looked really cool. I mean, they didn't always work very well, but they looked awesome. Sort of in a similar way to TVR, how you always have, a, if you have a TVR, it's a love-hate relationship with it, really. That's coming from someone who really wants to buy a Lotus, which stands for lots of trouble, usually serious. Like, a Lotus is like the end goal for me. Once I've got that, it's like, oh my god, you've, you've, you've done it. You're good to go. Have I completed a lap yet, by the way? I haven't been paying attention. I don't think I have. Like, just look at this place, though. You want elevation changes? Play Test Drive Unlimited 2. These elevation changes are mad. Also, how are we 14 seconds green after the first lap? And finally, they all cross the line and Miami Harris is out of the competition. So I'm actually really excited for these pink slip things. I I want to go in and do some more of them. But if I do that, then I have to do like the, what would it be? The A4 High Championship. I mean, it is eight events, but at the same time, you get $320,000 for it. Which, uh... Wow, they gave me that checkpoint. Um, okay. Well, I guess this is my life now. Can I get back on the track, please? Please? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no. ML, ML's godly. ML's godly. That could have gone so badly. Oh my god. Today I learned, don't take some corners too fast or you will jump out of the map. Yeah, I, I want to do some more pink slip stuff. And I mean, I'm not opposed to them at all. I think they're like one of my favorite things to do. So having some more of them in here would not be a bad thing. Also... You know Test Drive Unlimited 3? I'm just saying, I don't remember the name of the people who, who are working on it, but I kind of almost want to do like a wishlist video for Test Drive Unlimited 3 because someone bought the rights to it, right? And they're working on it now. It would be so awesome to like get in contact with them. I have no idea who's doing it, so I don't really know who to speak to, but I feel like getting in contact with those guys and being like, we love Test Drive Unlimited 2. How can we make Test Drive Unlimited 3 just as good, if not better? I feel like that'd be awesome. So if you make Test Drive Unlimited 3, shoot me an email. But yeah, I think together as like a community, we've done a really good job in expressing the things that we- Oh, for God's sake! I've done it again! <laughs> I think we've done a really good job of expressing all the things that we want, though, from, uh, from the next Test Drive Unlimited game, just in the comments of these videos, like, there's so much stuff that people want to see in and are so passionate about this game. It's really cool to see. Yeah, if Test Drive Unlimited 3 is done correctly, I think it could surprise a lot of people for sure. All right, so lap number three completed. Tess looks like she's going to drop out now. We've got Wilder Brothers and Winteries and all of them still left, sadly. Oh, and Tess is out. Confirmed. All right, if we could not try to jump out of the map this time... Like, I'm just gonna say that'd be so awesome. Where do I keep jumping out? Is it here? No, it's down here. All right, turn in early. Turn in early. Don't jump out of the map. All right, I nearly jumped out of the map, but we good. Now I can actually push through here and gain some actual speed. Because the other times I was just driving along the super narrow bit. All right, much, much better driving that way, I've decided. Also, I'm just gonna say, I don't know how I got 15 seconds green on the first lap. And between the end of the first lap and now, I'm only 20 seconds green or 25 seconds, 27 seconds green. I don't, I, I, what? I think there's some cheating going on for sure. We got some cheating AI in here, bro. 
It's like, I'm pushing as hard as I can, basically. It's like, I'm not slowing down just because I'm all the way up here. If anything, I'm pushing even harder to try to, like, I, I've said for a while, my goal in this game is going to be to try to lap someone. It hasn't happened yet, but I feel like it could if I, if I do push hard enough. So, it's like, my time's not going down. I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm just going to say this last lap was probably my fastest lap I've done. And I'm, I, like, I didn't gain anything on the AI. I really don't understand it. I almost feel, I don't know if this is actually a thing, but I almost feel like the AI are almost on a string to where if I go faster, they will go faster. And if I go slower, they'll go slower. I don't know. It sort of feels like that. Anyways, only two guys left. Ryan Wilder is now out, Mr. Old Off-Road Jumping Hummer Dude. Goodbye, buddy. Oh, forgot. Yes. Tony Hawk Skate 3, 4 confirmed. Uh, we're on the final lap now, and somehow Stewart's in front of Chris Wilder, even though Chris Wilder's supposed to be, like, the goon for this episode, or, like, the rival. Like, what? How is Stewart beating him? You know what I've decided this map almost reminds me of? Or, like, this, this, this course reminds me of? Have any of you guys played Mario Kart? Uh, it, the one I'm referring to is Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube, or I think it might have been on some other platforms as well. I don't know. I, I, had, it on, I had it on the GameCube. Anyways, um, it was a course where you would race up, like, a volcano, I think, and then when you were coming down, you'd have, like, um, boulders rolling after you. Does anyone remember that? That's what this reminds me of. I don't know how old I was when I played that, but it feels like that. All right, and 11 minutes, nearly 12 minutes later, we are finally done that race. Four grand for that. I wish you got paid based on how long the race was. I feel like that'd be a good way of doing it. Just saying. Anyways, 10 points there. Stewart actually ended up beating Chris Wilder, so we're now 10 points in front of Chris, which is awesome. Let's go... At, I think we only have two more races to do, actually. Like, we're moving through this, this championship super quick. 1.7 miles again! That race is gonna take no time! Alright, ML. We are ready to go. I love how everyone has, like, these black cars. It's basically just me and the spikers. We're in white cars and everyone else is like all limo tinted black and everything. It's like, no, 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 no. I mean, I want to try wrapping a car actually or going to the sticker shop uh, in this game. It's something I never did originally when I played this game. I just was never really into that, I guess. I would just like paint a car and leave it. I, I guess I'm still sort of like that as well. But I don't know. Maybe we should try that and try wrapping our car. Maybe make it like GTA style, bright gold. Bro, that's a big drift. That was too big a drift. 2.6 seconds green, though. I'm okay with that. I just don't want to drift that much. All right, we're doing good, though. This is going to be a short little race. We're, uh, like, a minute in, and we're more than halfway through. We're five seconds green. Oh, I nearly went the wrong way. Is the AI going to cheat, though? I feel like the AI doesn't cheat unless it's, like, a lap race. I feel like in lap races, they definitely cheat, though. They, like, they're, they're very rubber bandy. I don't know what goes on, but I know some, some shenanigans do happen, in fact. Yeah, I love this car, though. It's so awesome. Like, do, I don't think Mercedes still makes this, or, like, this type of one. I remember when this thing came out originally. <gasps> one of my friends had one. He had an ML63, and it was just the coolest thing. It was so loud. It was so obnoxious. And it was, just, like, black, and it was just the fastest thing. Like, you'd be driving down the highway. And he would just, like, put his foot down and he would fly. All right, Chris, I really didn't like your brother's car with his stupid, like, flame font, flame text that said Ryan on the back of his car. But Chris's car is actually pretty nice. Like, I kind of like the styling of it, how it's, like, black and orange. And it has, like, like, his name's on the back, which is kind of meh. But I think we could probably remove that or at least cover it up with some stickers. I don't know. Interesting stuff, though. I like his car. We will probably keep that. Because if this, if this goes how I think it will, we're going to do a bunch of these events. Like, we're going to do A5, A4, then we would do C3 and B3, and then we would have another cup. And the cup would include cars from everything again. That's what I'm thinking of. So, it's probably in my best interest to keep as many cars as possible, just so for that final cup we can have as much variety as possible. Yeah, what a good day, though. Like, after the past couple episodes, I will say I've been a little bit nervous coming into all of these races just because of how hard they've been sometimes. 
but today's video, I didn't have to redo a single challenge. Like, that's awesome. In the past couple videos, I've been having to redo quite a number of challenges because I kept losing or, or crashing or just not succeeding, like, in that cup. Oh, my God, that was frustrating. Two hours of recording for, for a 30-minute video. Insane. I mean, I thought it was worth it, though. We, get, we got, like, a million dollars. Yo! 164K. Awesome. And the B3 High Championship is now available. That should have quite the payout as well. Also, my sound is gone. I think my sound's died. No, it's back now. What? This game's kind of broken. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. I like that car a lot, I'll say. Freaking cheating AI, though. All right. So where are we at? Where are we at? What do we got to do? So we got a bunch of stuff on our map. We have... So we have these two championships that we need to do. B3, the high champ. It's only five challenges. Are they, like, really long? Okay, I, I just want to... Oh, the road's locked. I, I was going to say I want to go check it out and see how long, like, that will take. But we also have the C3 uh, license over here. I mean, that's kind of really out of the way. We have nothing unlocked near that at all. So maybe we're not going to go ahead and do that just yet. But maybe we should head to the A5 place right here. Just so we can maybe put a, a race in. So we can start moving a little bit quicker through this. Alright, so let's GPS target that up there. Then let's fast travel to... I can fast travel... Oh! 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 Up! Oh, up! Oh, up! Oh, right here. That's not far. I'll just do some major corner cutting. Yo! What's going on now? Oh, fancy. Fancy. Hey! That's my car. SLK. 55. Welcome to Hawaii for the new Solar Crown Championship. Are you going to put your roof down? My latest project. When I saw it in the shop, I couldn't resist. <laughs> With my natural talent and this precision machine, my victory Sponsor. is assured. Sounds like a Mercedes ad. Let's do uh, speed. I like speed. There's not many events here, though. Like, for real. I don't know what's up today or with, like, these Hawaii places, but these, these things feel pretty, like... Pretty normal. So this is a speed challenge, and actually the Lotus has more top speed than the than the Mercedes. So sure, we'll grab that. Oh, there were totally numbers that told me the exact top speed of both cars. I didn't see that. We meet Whoops. Again live at Solar Crown with all your favorite drivers, Miami, the Wilder Brothers. Stewart, I'm surprised she doesn't say her own name in there. Like I'm surprised she doesn't start off with her your favorite drivers, Tess, and. Te Okay, I didn't know my, my gauge would be red down there. I'm like, what have I done wrong? All right, I'm going to... Am I allowed to do this? Oh, I'm getting penalties for this. Oh. Well, let's uh, restart that. Well, I... Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn around. I got an idea. Oh, I only have a minute. And we have to do 74 miles an hour. Okay, let's try something. I still have zero points. Man. All right. Come down here. Brake here. Yeah, we get on the brakes. Don't get a penalty. I hate penalties. I found a hairdresser. Cool. I didn't get any penalties for that. Good, 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 good. All right, now gun it through the city. This is where we're going to get a lot of our speed. I'm going to continue going straight. Please don't weave out. All right, this is good. This is good. We're, we're getting some good points up to fourth gear. Wait, what the hell is wrong with my car? What the hell just happened? Okay, I'm up into fifth gear now. I think fourth gear is broken in this car. Like, for real. That was kind of broken. That was actually pretty messed up. My lots of trouble, usually serious Lotus, actually gonna break down. All right, don't get penalties. Don't get penalties. Don't get penalties. Not worth it. Not worth it. I was not expecting to get first there. Oh, shit. 730 points to 710. Oh, shit. That was a lot closer than it had to be. Damn. Well, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to call it a call it an episode now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to see me do, though, in the comments down below. Or what cars I should buy or what houses I should buy. If there's something you want to see me do in this game, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out the Galaxy stickers, like I was saying before. And, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.